Hi, I'm Dan Etheris from Fire Science, and this film is part of a series on AAA laps and beekeeping. It's really important to be able to recognise the symptoms that AAA laps cause when they infest a honeybee colony. It's also important to understand how AAA laps impact the colony and not to dismiss these as Varroa as the symptoms are very similar. AAA laps and Varroa are parasitic mites that feed and reproduce on honeybee brood. And because of this, they cause parasitic mite syndrome within the colony. To be able to see the symptoms of parasitic mite syndrome, you need to be able to clearly see the brood. AAA laps will kill some of the brood they infest. When this brood dies, the bees will try to remove it from the cells. At relatively low levels, you may see a patchy brood pattern and as the infestation progresses, more and more brood will be affected. The bees will start to remove the brood and you will start to see cannibalized and chewed down larvae and pupae. As the colony weakens further, you'll see the reduction of adult bees in the colony. And this will leave behind dead and dying brood with partially emerged pupae, with their heads sticking out of the cells with the proboscis extended. Asian beekeepers will look for bald brood, particularly when the pupae is at the white-eyed stage. And if you see a lot of bald brood, torn down cells, partially open cells and chewed down pupae, this could be an indicator of tropolalaps. Brood that has been infested with tropolalaps that matures to adulthood will result in bees that are left underweight and smaller than healthy bees. They will often have stunted abdomens and deformed wings. A lot of these symptoms are similar to what you will see with a varroa mite infestation. So it is important to check the combs for phoretic mites. Tropolalaps have a shorter phoretic phase than varroa, so you are less likely to see tropolalaps mites running around on the comb than you would varroa. Removing brood and blowing over the open cells can help to get the mites to emerge from the cells. Tropolalaps are one third the size of varroa mites and are very difficult to see without the aid of magnification. A big difference between a varroa infestation and a tropolalaps infestation is the time it takes to kill the colony. Beekeepers in Asia and Eastern Europe say if no treatments are used, a colony could die in as little as three months. If you're concerned you have tropolalaps, they are a statutory notifiable pest, so please contact your local bee inspector or contact the National Bee Unit. You can also find out more information about tropolalaps on our website by subscribing to our videos.